Hello again, Lauren Mark here from Go Shooting. This video is the last in our second series of technical coaching videos. Today's topic is about a generic stance to help you get started in the discipline of skeet. Everybody will have variations on what I am about to discuss, but this stance is a good starting point that will place your body in the best possible position when you pull the trigger to break your target. Skeet, like sporting clays, throws targets on a predetermined, consistent flight path that gives you the advantage of setting your stance up to optimize your chances of breaking the target. A common mistake that many people make is setting themselves up in a comfortable stance at the point where they will start tracking the target across the field. This is a natural thing to do as a novice, but the problem that this causes is that by the time you need to break the target, which ideally is just prior to the center crossing point, you begin to run out of a natural smooth swing. The key to this is to put your body into the best possible position at the breaking point. This will mean your body will unwind like a spring from the starting point to the breaking point. We like to use a clock face to explain our stances. We will place this clock face with the 12 o'clock position facing the top of the square on each station. We can make a good generic stance for right hand shooters on every station by placing our left foot at the 12.30 position and our right foot at the 1.30 position. There is always room to tinker this foot position a little based on your height, weight, and of course your flexibility, but this is a good start. Like trap shooting stances, it is important to note that if you do play with this suggested stance too much, your leading foot should never go past 12 o'clock and your back foot should always touch the imaginary semicircle line of the clock face. Opening up or closing your stance too much will lose the important shoulder pocket that you will need when mounting the shotgun correctly. The the distance you need to have between your heels will also vary a little based on those same parameters, but if you are considering crossing over from American Skeet to the faster international version of the game, then be a little careful about spreading your feet too far apart and placing too much weight over your front foot. This can severely hamper the speed and smoothness of your barrel swing and the ability to keep the gun in your face when rotating. Left-handers simply need to mirror image our right-hand stance and place their right foot at the 11.30 position and their left foot at the 10.30 position. In theory, when you are shooting doubles, you may often break the second target slightly back closer to your starting hold point. There is an argument that you should marginally alter your feet square back towards the house of your first target to cater for this, but the alteration of your stance is only slight. Trial this and find out what works best for you. I recommend a relatively relaxed posture with a slight bend in both knees. Your weight should be equally distributed between your feet. Follow through is integral in skeet. Ensure that you have enough swing to follow through comfortably without running out of rotation. These positions should get you on your way. As I mentioned, this is based on the premise you have the ability to break the single targets just prior to the center crossing point. Many beginners may struggle to do this and should marginally adjust their stance accordingly. A good training drill is simply to mount your gun at the desired breaking point with the stances I have explained and then wind your body back to the desired starting hold point. To establish where to start your gun, watch our hold point video. To complement this, we also have a video on the leads required for American Skeet filmed through our shot cam. This should get you started, but once again, don't be afraid to experiment with these recommendations a little bit to find out the exact stance that works for you. On behalf of everyone here at Ghost Shooting, we would like to thank you for your support throughout a very difficult year. We would like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a safe New Year, and as always, we look forward to seeing you at a Ghost Shooting range real soon.